So field buses can be added in the networks tab of the CPU. As you can see down here, we have the networks tab. Right click on the networks tab, go new, and then select Profinet network. Now this will give the following pop-up. You can give it a name, but the most important parts that we can change are the interface and the driver. So first up, you choose the interface on which the Profinet is supposed to communicate. In my case, Ethernet 2. And we're selecting the driver. I'd recommend to always choose PN202 since that's our newest version of our driver. Click finish. Now, it's going to ask you to create a main Profinet configuration, which we're going to select yes. Then here, the only thing we need to change is the station name. In my case, it's going to be PN Master or Profinet Master. We're clicking finish. It's going to ask to reboot and we're going to select reboot now. Now, once the CPU is back online, we're going to open up the network tabs. Then we're going to click on Profinet and then double click on Net1. This opens up the following screen. Now we're going to open the Layout tab, which we're already in, and we're going to add the new device, which is our slave. So we're going to right click here, go New, and then Device. Then open up this folder and make sure you select the PN202 driver, of course, if you selected PN202 in the previous part. We go Finish. Now we're going to double click on the station that we just added, go here, and then we go to the connection part. Now remember this is the slave configuration. So I'm going to change the name to PN slave. Then I'm also going to turn on optional node. This means that if this slave is not available for the master, the CPU will not go into error. So that's why we turn this on. Then we scroll all the way down and then here are the device param parameters. So we're going to click on this target M1 name, click on the triple dots, we're going to open our solution project demo and then select the CPU's slave online device. We go finish. As you can see, the slave has now been added. Then we save our current setup. Okay, and then it's going to give us a pop-up which says uh, to create another main Profinet configuration, which we want to create since the slave doesn't have one yet. So we go yes, and uh, make sure you select the right interface again. So in my case, Ethernet 2, and then click finish and now make sure you reboot the slave first then wait a little bit and then reboot the master after the reboot is finished for both devices open up the networks tab of the master go to profinet network one pn1 slave and if you open the last one this uh, Symbol should now be blue. If it's blue, that means that your connection to the slave is now up and running and you're good to know. Um, if you want to do some diagnostics of your Profinet network, you can go to your variable view, open up your master, your online device, and then there is a new PN software module. Here you can do some small diagnosis of your uh, Profinet network. In the next chapter, we're going to take a look at how to add hardware modules to the Profinet network.